A gluten sensitivity may be causing your allergic reaction, but gluten may not be the only food that's causing your symptoms. But today's topic, gut health, allergies, and beyond gluten-free, may be an answer to a prayer for your chronic disease symptoms and your digestive problems. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. James Christozik, and I'm Northeast Ohio's leading expert in natural medicine, functional medicine since 1986. You probably never thought about it, but the wrong critters, the wrong bacteria living inside your gut, well, they may be causing your body's reaction to gluten, and yes, they may be even causing a reaction to other foods without you or your doctor ever suspecting these hidden foods are causing you to be sick, tired, and overweight. In just a minute, I'm going to tell you about a specific food that the beneficial bacteria that live inside the gut love to eat, and you're going to love too, so you don't want to miss that. Now, the connection between gut health, the microbiota, that's the community of healthy bacteria living inside the gut, and food allergies is a hot topic in research right now. The incidence of food allergies is on the rise, and scientists believe there's a strong link between gut health, the microbiota, that's the community of bacteria living in your gut, and food allergies. And if these symptoms are not resolved, your problems could last a lifetime. Now, there's two types of uh, reactions to foods. There's an immediate response and there's a delayed reaction. Immediate reactions affect less than 10% of the population. The reactions occur within a couple minutes to a couple hours after the offending food is ingested. Symptoms include stuffy nose, itchy eyes, sneezing, wheezing, hacking in hives. On the other hand, delayed allergies they affect up to 75% of the population. And these reactions usually take place up to a week after the offending food is ingested. Now, researchers have shown that there are up to over 100 different symptoms and 150 different diseases that are linked to these delayed uh, food allergies. Several research studies point to the gut microbiota. Uh, especially the bad bacteria in the gut as the main culprit in triggering food allergies. These researchers, they've observed that there are significant differences in the gut microflora of people with food allergies and people without. And the healthy gut flora is made up of a wide variety of what we call commensal bacteria, including bacteroides and bifidobacteria and lactobacilli. And a symbiotic relationship between these beneficial bacteria helps the intestinal immune system and enables it to tolerate these reactions to foods. When somebody has an allergy to a food, their immune system is reacting to the protein in that food. Protein in any food can cause an immune reaction and trigger the symptoms of uh, inflammation and then, of course, damage the lining of the gut and cause leaky gut. Many people on a gluten-free diet, they unknowingly are allergic to uh, a bunch of other foods, but they're staying off of foods like gluten unnecessarily. And still they're eating the foods that are actually toxic to their bodies unknowingly. Now, right now, I want to tell you about my favorite food for helping to gut bacteria to flourish. And the bacteria love this food as well. It's called Jerusalem artichokes, and it makes a delicious addition to salads, and it's loaded with a fiber that's called inulin, and it's very sweet because of that uh, fiber. And that fiber is a prebiotic that feeds the good bacteria and makes them jump for joy. Leave a comment below if you've tried Jerusalem artichokes or you'd like to know where to find them. And if you like this video and you want more videos like it, then subscribe to my channel and don't forget to come back tomorrow because I'll be talking about the most common hidden food allergies and I'm going to tell you about a simple blood test that can pinpoint food allergies accurately and be able to help you to get back on the road to good health. So until next time, I'm Dr. James Christosik, a.k.a. Dr. Good Carbs.